Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of the Math Behind the Module. All right, this is lesson 11, ratios of fractions and their unit rates. Classwork example one, who is faster? During their last workout, Izzy ran two and one quarter miles in 15 minutes. And her friend Julia ran three and three quarter miles in 25. Each girl thought she was fat off the faster run. Based on their last run, which girl is correct? Use any approach to find the solution. Okay. So to answer this question, I'm going to say, okay, what do we need to do? Well, let's, let's list what is required to answer this question. So step one, make fractions improper. Okay, make fractions improper. So I'm going to start with this two and a quarter. Four times two is eight, plus one is nine. So we're talking about nine quarters. Fifteen minutes, well, there are 60 minutes in an hour. So I'm going to convert this to hours. And five will go into 15 three times, and five will go into 60 12 times. So therefore, that reduces again. Three goes into three once, three goes into 12 four times. So that is one quarter of an hour. Okay, we usually represent our speed by miles per hour. So I have nine and one, nine fourths of a mile, nine fourths miles in quarter of an hour. I'm going to do the same now with the red, or Julia. Four times three is 12, plus three is 15, over the original denominator. 25 minutes per hour be 25 minutes out of 60 minutes, and five will go into 25 five times, five will go into 60 12 times. Okay, so she can go 15 fourths of a mile in five twelfths. Okay, so step one is done. We made, we made the fractions improper. Step two. says find okay so we're going to find the unit rate okay find the unit rate how do we find the unit rate what is the unit rate it is miles per hour how many miles per hour are they going to go we want to do that for each one. Okay, so I'm going to do this one first. And unit rate, the word unit rate, find unit rate, that is our K. K is unit rate. And K equals Y over X. And in this case, our Y is going to be our hours. Because if you do miles per hour, hours in the bottom. Okay, so we want to don't know how many miles we went in an hour, then we have to divide the miles into the hour. So be careful with how you think about that. If you do it backwards, then the you're going to um, come up with a solution that doesn't make any sense. You always have to check to see if it makes sense. So hours is in the denominator. So we're going to take miles nine fourths. That's our y. Miles per hour. Okay. Miles per hour. Miles per hour. We can't divide a fraction by a fraction in math. But we do know that we can multiply by its reciprocal. And in class we call that flip it and switch it. So I'm going to flip my quarter and make it four over one and switch the division to multiplication. So nine quarters divided by one quarter is the same as nine quarters times four. These fours are going to cancel and I get nine over one or nine. So our constant proportionality or our unit rate is nine miles per hour. Okay. 
and that was four. It's so Izzy ran nine miles per hour. Now we have to do the same for Julia. So again, I'm going to write the formula. And the reason we do this is so that we can memorize it. K equals Y over X, which equals miles, 15 quarters, divided by hours, 5 twelfths. Bring over the 15 quarters, change division to multiplication, and flip the denominator and call it 12 fifths. Now we can cancel. 4 goes into 4 once. 12 goes, 4 goes into 12 three times. 5 goes into 5 once. 5 goes into 15 three times. And we get 3 times 3 is 9 over 1, or just 9. And she runs 9 miles per Okay, so go back and read the question. Based on their last run, which girl is correct? And it said each girl thought she was the faster runner. So which runner, which one's correct? Well, if Izzy said she was faster, nine is not more than nine. And if Julia said she ran faster, her nine's not more than nine. So neither are correct because they run, they run at the same rate. If you're running at the same rate, one is not faster than the other. Okay. So please show all of your work and answer the question. Number two. Turtle walks seven eighths of a mile in fifty minutes. What is the unit rate when the turtle's speed is expressed in miles per hour? To find the turtle's rate, Meredith wrote the following complex fraction. Explain the fraction five six. How the fra fraction five six was. So they want to know how we got five six. Where did that come from? That is the question. We know the turtle ran fifty minutes or 50, uh, miles in fifty seven eighths of a mile in fifty. So here's the seven eighths, seven eighths, seven eighths, 50, five six. But where that came from is 50 minutes out of 60 minutes in an hour. And the zeros cancel, dividing both by 10. So therefore, five six is five six of an hour, which is 50 minutes. That's how the fraction of the by reducing 50 over six. B says determine the unit rate and the turtle speed is expressed in miles per hour. Okay. So unit rate, again, is K equals Y over X. And she's already got it set up here because she set it up correctly. So that's going to be 7 eighths over 5 6 miles per hour. And we're going to take those miles and leave them as is. But we're going to switch the division to multiplication to take the reciprocal. Flip it and switch it, in other words. This 6, 2 will go into 6 3 times, 2 will go into 8 4 times, 7 times 3 is 21, 4 times 5 is 20 miles per hour. If you wanted to turn that into a fraction, it's just simply 20 it goes into 21 one time, the remainder of 1, 20 will not go into 10, so we got add another zero, and 20 will go into 100 five times. So that is 1.05 miles per hour. That's another way we can write miles slash miles per hour. Okay. Exercise one. For Anthony's birthday, his mother's making cupcakes. His 12 friends at his daycare. The recipe calls for three and one third cups. First thing I'm going to do is make that improper which is not 3 times 3, plus 1, 9 plus 1, 10 thirds cups of flour. A recipe makes 2 and a half dozen. Change that to 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5 halves dozen cupcakes. 
Anthony's mother only has one cup of flour. Is there enough flour for each of the friends to get a cupcake? Explain and show your work. Okay? So we want to know how far one cup of flour will go. So we have to figure out how many cups per dozen. We have two and a half dozen, so we have to figure out how many cups for one dozen. So that's how many friends. So I want cups per dozen. In other words, ten thirds per five halves dozen equals ten over three times the reciprocal. Flip it and switch it. Five goes into five once, five goes into ten twice. Two times two is four divided by three, and that is equivalent to one and one third cups per dozen. Okay. So you did a mathematical calculation and you found the unit rate, which is one third cups per dozen, which is actually the rate. The unit rate was one and a third cups per dozen is the rate unit. One and one third cups per dozen is called the rate. Okay. So now answer the question Is there enough flour for each friend to get a cupcake? Well, she needs one and one, one third cups to make a dozen cupcakes. He has a dozen friends. And she only has one cup of flour, and she needs one and one third. So the answer is, the answer is no. She is lacking a third of a cup. She has one cup. She needs one and one third. And you should say that in your explanation. Okay. Next problem. A table. Sally's making a painting for which she's mixing red paint and blue paint. The table below shows different mixtures being used. Red paint, blue paint, red paint, blue paint. Okay. Sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. So, X, red paint. Y, blue paint. K equals Y over X. First thing I'm going to do is convert all of these into improper fractions. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3 halves. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12 fifths. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15 fourths. An integer or a whole number, you can just put over 1. 1 1.2 is 1 and 2 tenths. 10 times 1 is 10, plus 2 is 12 tenths. That will reduce to 6 fifths. 1 and 8 tenths is 10 times 1 plus 8, or 18 tenths. That will reduce to 9 fifths. We'll do the same over here. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5 halves. 4 is an integer over 1. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 is 25 quarters. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 2 is 20 thirds. 2 is an integer over 1. 3 is an integer over 1. Okay, quick lesson in making a mixed fraction and decimal improper. Now we're going to answer the question, what is the unit rate? In other words, what is k? k equals y over x. I'm going to use the first one. y is 5 halves over x, 3 halves. Flip it and switch it. The 2's cancel, and I'm left with 5 times 1 over 1 times 3. So the unit rate is 5 thirds, or 1 and 2 thirds. That is the amount of blue paint to the amount of red paint. Is the amount of blue paint proportional to the amount of red paint? In order for us to have a proportion, we have to have the same K, which was 5 thirds, for every single mixture represented. And so I'm going to do a few. I will not do all. We've already done the first one, and we got 5 thirds here. So if I do the second one, 12 fifths times 1 fourth. I'm going to do that one step at once. I'm going to take x, and I'm going to multiply by y flipped, because that's what we're doing. y divided by x, 
misspoke there. Y divided by X is the same as Y times X flipped. So I'm going to take Y, five halves, times two-thirds. And that's what I did here. Five halves times two-thirds, and we got five-thirds. Okay? So we already did the first one, so now let's go to the next one. Y, which is 4 over 1, times the reciprocal of X, which is 5 times. 4 goes into 4 once, 4 goes into 12 three times, and we get 5 thirds, which is what we're looking for. If I do it again to the next one, I take Y, 25 over 4, Divided by x, which is the same as times x flipped, which is 4 fifteenths. The 4 goes into 4 once, 4 goes into 4 once, 5 goes into 15 3 times, 5 goes into 15, 25 5 times, 5 times 1 is 5, 1 times 3 is 3. If we continue doing that for all of them, we would see that 5 thirds will be the result for each one. And I'm not going to take time to do that. That's how you would answer that question. Is the amount of blue paint proportional? <laughs> yes, because we get the same. Okay. C. Describe in words what the unit rate means in the context of the problem. So what does that mean? So what we want to say is for every quart of red paint, there is Five third quarts, or one and one third quarts of blue paint. Okay. Describe in words what the unit rate means in the context of the problem. You are being asked this multiple times in this unit. You need to understand that in the context of the problem, you have to represent K in terms of your Y and your X, which is blue paint and red paint. And you have to address that and say for every quart of red paint there is the unit rate five third quarts of blue paint. Okay, there's lesson eleven. Go do your problem set.